There are many people in our world who have been raised a certain way, who have grown up with certain cultural traditions, and have since decided that although these things are a part of their life, they don't consider them to be a major part of life. Most of us have probably met these folks, and oftentimes their choices seem pretty understandable to us. We use the word practicing to sort of draw the line at sincerity when we say someone is a non-practicing Catholic or a practicing Jew. Those who don't subscribe to a religious tradition or religious practice sometimes tend to leave well enough alone and just don't care what others believe. So why do atheists care about religion? It seems like a good question, right? Because to be an atheist is to not believe in gods, and gods are a big aspect of many religions. If you don't believe in, say, the God of the Bible, then why care about religions that do believe in that God? Why spend so much time talking about, reading about, and studying stuff you don't believe? Now, different people will give different answers to this question, as you've likely already found. Even different atheists may focus on different issues, because this question is kind of like asking why most Christians don't think the Quran is the word of God. There can be a bunch of reasons for this view, but some people will find some answers more or less persuasive than others. With that said, allow me to give my answer, one atheist's answer, to why atheists care about religion. My reasons won't be the same as other atheists' reasons, but I think you will find there to be a good deal of agreement. First, let me say that yes, there have been and still are some atheists that plain don't care about religion. It's become common to refer to these types as apatheists because... Well, they're apathetic towards religion, but it's worth noting that neither apatheists nor atheists are apathetic towards everything. Atheists care about many things, and atheists do have beliefs about the world we live in. Our beliefs don't always motivate us toward action, whatever we believe, yet we frequently find there is great correlation between the two, and we all have some beliefs we see as very important to us. Religion is not just about belief in gods. Innumerable scholars and theologians through the ages have called attention to the human component of religion. It's often said that to belong to a certain religion, like Christianity or Buddhism, is to adopt a specific way of life. This suggests that religion impacts our actions and how we interact with the world, and in that respect it can affect and change the world. Countless examples from history are available to us, and not all of them are objectionable. Many religious traditions have formed close-knit social structures that help, at least in part, to tend to the emotional, interpersonal, and sometimes physical needs of their flock. The fact is, one can pretend that religion has no real or potent effects on the world, or one can choose not to care about its effects, but neither of these approaches accomplishes anything. Even before we move to talking about counteracting the effects of religion, the study of religion seems quite worthy of our attention in that it aids us in understanding the human side of faith traditions. For me personally, this is a large reason for why I devote time to reading about and researching religious issues. Calling something religious doesn't disconnect it from reality, despite what we may think about how disconnected some of its beliefs are from reality. Learning about the history of religion, the psychology of religious belief, the social aspects of religion, the philosophical and ethical ideals of religion, and the relationship of religion to science can equip atheists with tools for debate and dialogue with believers, but it also enhances our comprehension of both religion and of the broader world. We don't want our disagreements to be misinformed, though a more valuable thing to me is how this learning contributes to where I find myself and how I relate to other people. Curiosity often comes from deeper wells of longing for understanding than we sometimes realize. All of this, I believe, is a constructive basis for caring about religion. It's the recognition that religion is not static and unchanging, as if we can at one time make up our minds on what has been presented to us and be good for every point thereafter. Religion evolves like so much else we encounter, and really acknowledging this implies a need for a kind of vigilance towards understanding. Complacency and certitude should be as strongly resisted as the unquestionable dogmas of old. Nevertheless, many people have opposed atheism because they see it as defining yourself negatively by what you don't believe, as though positive beliefs are required to care about something. The trouble with this is that abolitionists, anti-war activists, opponents of the death penalty, and loads of others have positioned themselves firmly against beliefs, and yet exercised a great deal of attention to those beliefs. Perhaps our reluctance to question why any of those folks care so much about what they oppose is suggestive of a double standard when it comes to atheism. 
The idea that atheists define themselves in religious terms is as absurd as it would be to say abolitionists define themselves in terms of slave-owning ideology. Both atheists and abolitionists have other beliefs, other things they attend to, and these may actually make up more of their identity. I have heard some believers talk demeaningly about how some atheists devote their entire lives to arguing against religion. But is this really true? Nietzsche wrote extensively on ethics, art, and many other subjects. Bertrand Russell contributed much to mathematics and set theory. Richard Dawkins has a career in evolutionary biology and was influential for his work on that front long before he published The God Delusion. Just because certain people expend great amounts of energy on religious ideas does not mean those ideas define their entire lives. Many atheists have actually developed a focus on religion because of their positive beliefs coming under threat and attack by religious believers and religious institutions. Concerns about education, privacy, social equality, scientific literacy, and much more have clashed and continue to clash with religious interests in some circles. The harm perpetrated in the name of religion is often the most widely cited reason among atheists for why they care about religion. It's a little hard to overstate this issue when the pages of history, even leading up to this very moment, are littered with examples of how the human component of religion has taken an aggressive, oppressive, and sometimes violent tone. Is there such a thing as caring too much about religion, though? It seems like we all do draw the line somewhere, and there are atheists who look like they are obsessed with religion. Refusing to celebrate Christmas because of its religious associations and denouncing other atheists who do celebrate the holiday would be an example. On the other hand, one doesn't want to just give in to religious hegemony, which will always downplay its own influence and try to silence its critics, but one also doesn't want to overreact or be unfair. If there are atheists who still appear tied in some ways to their former religious views, we shouldn't regard this as surprising or an indictment. There are tons of religious folks in this camp, too, retaining things from the beliefs they converted away from. Issues around how we form beliefs, how we revise and change our beliefs, and how these beliefs fit together amongst each other are quite complicated matters. To think any of us is that free of our past or of our society and culture is, it would seem, a pretty spectacular assumption. Atheists care about religion because even if no gods exist, religion remains a part of life. It's well worth caring about when it interferes with and intrudes into one's life in harmful ways. Yet even in its benign forms, we might justifiably feel it deserves attention, the same as art, music, history, science, literature, or anything else that makes up a significant aspect of the human story. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing, as well as perhaps sharing it with others. This channel is the official channel of GodlessHaven.com, where you can find more content like this in articles, reviews, podcast episodes, and more, and where you can also find how to support us. You can follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GodlessHaven.